So you were just like, fuck this, and you dropped out of college. Did Were you still working these retail jobs? No, I fell in love. Oh, okay. Um, well, kind of. I mean, I'm a really cool ass chick at this like music festival. And I was like, shit. Honestly, like, dude, I do it. Uh, I do it a hundred times over. Like a, a three year relationship with like a best fucking friend. Like, fuck yeah, dude. What kind of music festival were you at? Uh, like Grateful Dead, like jam band shit. Like is that draft. mainly is that mainly the kind of music you're into? I guess. I don't know. It's kind of like what's like influenced me a lot. You know, I like like growing up in St. Louis, it's like the heritage here is like Chuck Berry, you know, with his rock and roll, and then like fucking John Hartford, like with his bluegrass and shit. Uh -huh. And it's like, yeah, man. You got Pokey Lafarge poking around, so it's like Chuck Berry's music and John Hartford music it makes me think of the fucking river and river life and shit, you know. So you met this girl at the music festival, and uh, you said you were with her for three years. Uh, what were those three years like? You said it sounded like they were great. You said you would do them over again. So you were like totally into that girl, or what? I was a dumb kid. I was a dumb kid, you know. Like I don't right. know. It was fun. It was fun. Well, did, you, did you guys live together, or just dating, or yeah. did you like live together? Is there anything that happened that ended the relationship? You just kind of like grew apart or something. Pretty much, uh, like we're yeah, we're still friends to this day, man. And that was fucking twenty years ago. Shit. So you're in this relationship for three years. You're living with this girl. Um, you're ha you you're just going to work, living with her, I suppose, spending your time with her. So you break up with her. You're single again. Uh, did your life just stay the same or? Did you make like after that i moved to boulder colorado okay well why did you choose uh boulder it's it's fucking beautiful <laughs> yeah like everyone there is like healthy and rich and it's great so are you really into like outdoors activities obviously uh, i think but, absolutely yeah. it's like dude you can't live in boulder and just be like blown away by the fucking beauty like they call it like the the curse of uh, Chief Nywat. Like you're gonna be blessed and cursed by this beauty, and it's like you're on the front range. I don't know, man. Every every apartment I live in had fucking bogness of these fucking like panoramic views of just blown my mind. Front range fucking uh, what do you call those lenticular cloud formations and shit. Oh yeah, I've I've been up there. I love Colorado myself. I would love to live up there but that had to be a big move for you i suppose was that the first time you actually well no i mean spring or missouri state would have been my first move and then my big move was like i mean that's still a move like shit and it's like yeah, yeah boulder Do you have to put a lot of thought into that or you're just like fuck it i'm going to boulder i mean it's like do or die dude <laughs> all right like, did, did you like, know people there or just go by yourself and you just no one i knew no okay. one all right, so how did, I guess you just saved up some money, got a place, looked for a job? I, I didn't have, I just, my money saved up, and then I, I didn't have a job when I moved out there, so it was oh. like. Okay, cool. I, I found good work and whatever, worked yes. out. So now you're in Boulder. What's your life like there? Incredible. Okay. Like, holy shit. No, like, it was the best fucking time I could ever, like, holy shit. Give me, like, yeah. do you mind give me some examples of some good times you had up in Boulder? Like, the kind of stuff you were doing? Like, I'm climbing, like, the deadliest fucking mountains in the country and, like, doing triathlons and, like, I have beautiful friends and, and like, a beautiful fucking girlfriend and shit. And I'm making decent money and I have this fucking, like, apartment in Boulder, dude. <laughs> it's yeah. nuts. And I got motorcycles and shit. Fuck yeah, dude. But... Yeah, hey, there there is a dark side to it. 